As a partner in your business, Solmax International presents this safe container unloading process to improve the effectiveness of your operations. The following instructions are for the safe unloading and handling of our materials from the shipping container. Please check your country or state health and safety regulations prior to applying these guidelines. Solmax International is not liable for injuries or damages that may occur in the application of these guidelines. In this video, Solmax International will show you how to proceed and what kind of equipment is required. Also included is a step-by-step -step guide including preparation, unloading and moving processes, and storage. Our materials are delivered via 40-foot ocean freight containers or 48 to 53-foot intermodal containers for on-site unloading. This video offers health and safety precautions as well as guidelines for the safe unloading of our products from the container. Preparation First, find a secure area from which to unload the materials preferably close to the final storage area to minimize handling. You will notice that the products are loaded four rows high by three to four rolls wide. One roll in the top row will stick out slightly from the others and feature an extra sling for easy access by the operator. Equipment required. Any of the following machinery with a capacity of at least 3.5 metric tons or 7,700 pounds may be used. Forklift. Front end loader. Backhoe. Excavator. Unloading and moving process. Before starting, please make sure the unloading area is safe and secure. To begin unloading, start with the roll sticking out from the top row. Grab the sling from the top row and attach it to the equipment's appendix. Make sure the sling is securely tied to the appendix of the equipment you are using. To preserve the integrity of the roll, pull slowly until the roll slides out of the container. Remember, a brisk pull could damage the roll. To complete the unloading process, stabilize the roll on the ground with one end still in the container. Once the roll is stable, attach the second sling to the lifting equipment's appendix. Slowly lift until the roll is completely out of the container and off the ground. Move the first roll to the final storage space and remove the extra sling. Repeat the same process for the remaining rolls. The operator must attach the extra sling to each roll prior to unloading. Storing the geomembrane rolls. Make sure the rolls positioned on the outside of the first row are secured using, for example, wood or concrete blocks or any other suitable bracing device. The final storage will depend on your site. We recommend that our products be stored as follows. Smooth polyethylene geomembrane, four rows high. Textured and single side textured geomembrane, three rows high. Solmax International is proud to be your partner. For further assistance, please contact your customer service representative.